Hey guys, I went comic shopping today. I think I scored pretty well. You let me know. Let's start. Hey ladies and gents, your pal Rob here. Check it out. I was going to go to two stores today. I figured I'd go to the first one to pick up a couple of things. And the second store would be the better store to find some good deals. Well, the first store took care of that. I guess they bought a collection in and um, they had a couple of good books. I think the prices are pretty good too. So I'll show you what I found. All right. The first book I came across was Gotham City Sirens, number one. Got it for three bucks, as you can see there. This book is in near mint shape. And I looked it up and this book goes for about, you know, $35, $40 plus and graded obviously higher. Anyway, this is the first one I got. And I ended up getting <laughs> one through 26, the last issue. And more than half of these issues run about $10, $15 plus a piece. So I figured for three bucks a comic, one through 26, that wasn't a bad deal, you know. I think it's a pretty good deal. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Gotham City Sirens 1 through 26. A complete set. All right, my next comic I have here is Batgirl number one, new 52. Once again, three bucks. And um, this is the return of Barbara Gordon as, as um, Batgirl in the first appearance of The Mirror. Is it a big book? No, but it's still number one, the return of Barbara Gordon. And for three bucks, I thought it was a pretty good deal. I think this book normally goes for about 15 or so. Okay, this next comic is interesting. This is Avengers vs. X-Men. This is issue number seven, or round seven. And this is the issue, excuse me, I paid $3 for it. That's gonna be the reoccurring theme, $3. Um, this is the issue where Namor attacks Wakanda. So, I think at one time this was thought to be a premise for a movie. I'm not sure if that's still the case, but I bought for three bucks. They do it. This will be a good book to have. Avengers vs. X-Men, round seven, or issue number seven. All right, the next comic I have here is Captain Marvel, number one. This is from 2012. And this is the second appearance of Captain Marvel at Carol Danvers' as Captain Marvel. And the book goes for about $15, $20, I guess more in high grade, but for three bucks, I thought it was a pretty good buy. Yeah, I guess this is probably her first series too, I believe. Captain Marvel, number one. All right, I came across these comics for $3. I found uh, Hulk, 15. And this, I believe, is the first cameo appearance of Red She-Hulk. You know, uh, you never know. We see her, you never know. But you see this book <laughs> for three bucks. I believe it goes for $10 plus, I think, the first cameo. And then I came across issue 16 for $3. This is obviously her first cover and first full appearance of the Red She-Hulk. This one goes for a little bit more money. I know it goes for a lot in 9.8, and this one is near mint. And I believe this goes for $30 plus raw, I think. If you guys know what it is um, in the comments, let me know what this goes for. And this one too. I'm just guessing on the prices. All right, this next book may qualify as my find of the day here. <laughs> Black Panther, number one. First cover appearance of Shuri as Black Panther, but not in story. This book cost me $3. And this book goes for, I'm assuming $50 plus in high grade. And I thought $3 was a good price for this book. If you see this book for $3, you better buy it. This is I don't know if you call it a classic cover, but if we see Shuri as Black Panther in future movies, um, this book is an excellent spec. I think even $50 is probably a really good spec too. All right, my qualified find of the day actually is this book right here, Black Panther 5. And this is the first appearance of Shuri as Black Panther in story. It's also a, uh, like the other book here, I forgot to mention that, these are both 
J. Scott Campbell covers. And he's, he's, uh, J. Scott Campbell's cover art is really popular. And anyway, this book cost me three bucks. And this book is in, once again, near mint. I don't see any flaws really, I mean, from the, just the surface right here. For three bucks, this probably is my find of the day. I mean, this book is, once again, if Shuri becomes Black Panther, this book will be fire. And I think this book goes for about $100 or so, I think, raw, and obviously a lot more, 9.8. So you see this book for <laughs> essentially cover price, heck, even 50 bucks. I suggest you get it, because this I think this is probably a really good spec book to get. All right, I found a really cool Bronze Age or early Bronze Age comic, and that would be New Gods, number two. I paid $18 for this comic right here. Anyway, this book, has the second full appearance of Darkseid and the first cover appearance of Darkseid right here. This book is, I think, a really good spec. We probably are gonna see him again. I mean, I know he was in the Justice League movie. I'm sorry. And the, um, yeah. And, um, or at least the Snyder Cut. So, I think for $18, this book probably goes for about $30 or $40. This one, this comic is in I would say it's good, very good condition. Okay, next comic I have here is gonna be X-Men issue 50. And this is the second appearance of Polaris, Magneto's daughter, but this is also her first cover appearance and an awesome Starenko cover. And anyway, I got this book for 30 bucks. And as I look on eBay right now, this book is going for, I see a 1.8 that sold for 100, 100 bucks? Wow. Anyway, I, I think this book is probably about 125 bucks, I think. So I think that's actually a good find for 30 bucks. What do you think? Let me know in the comments about this book, X-Men 50. And why is Polaris so popular now? All right, I think I found a really good book here. I managed to find this book for 40 bucks, $41. The Eternal number one for 40 bucks. And this book is in I would call it, probably call it a fine condition. Yeah, that's fair to say. 40 bucks. I'm assuming it runs about 100 bucks, I think, in that price range. I'm guessing, you know. Anyway, the movie will be coming sometime soon. If you see this book for $41, I suggest you get it. Um, this is a pretty good book, ladies and gentlemen. Hey guys, if you ever saw your comic collection, I recommend Infinity Comics. They're a great company, they pay fair, they buy collections, large or small. If you do contact them, tell me your pal Rob sent you. Hey, I hope you got a value out of my video and hope you enjoyed the comics. And if you have any questions about the comics, the prices, the video or anything else, put that in the comment section below. And I'm, I'll be seeing you guys soon. I'll see you later. Wait, don't leave yet. I did a poll last week and um, I asked in the poll, if you, if you had to choose between one graded 9.8 comic for 100 bucks, or would you choose two near mint raw comics of the same comic um, for 100 bucks, which would you choose? And most of you chose the two near mint raw copies. Well, I went ahead and I bought the one copy, <laughs> and this book was a CBCS 9.8 copy of Maniac of New York number one. This is a one in 15 variant. Love the cover, I love the story. This is also one of my favorite stories to read right now. And I'd love to see this book on screen. This is basically another, it comes across, if you see the cover, like another Jason in Manhattan, Friday 13th uh, storylines. This story is really good. Um, this book is an excellent read. Uh, if you want to read something interesting, I'll you read Manic in New York right now. I think it's only gonna go five comments, I think, maybe six, I'm not sure. If you know in the comments, let me know. But this book is awesome. It's up there with Fear Case, ENIAC, um, and stuff like that. So if you see this book for cover price, or the regular cover, or even this one, get it. Another awesome story.